All right, so we've got some tombstone brownies to make or graveyard brownies, however you want to look at it. So I've already baked just a nine by 13 pan of brownies and then I cut out. You don't have, if your brownies are thicker, you can leave the bottoms in, but I've just cut out these squares and then we just crumble these up, crumble these up, crumble, 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 crumble these up. My helpers, maybe you'll start helping. <laughs> And then once you get it crumbled up, you just start fill it back in, you mound it up nice and tall. And then we're ready for frosting. So I also took some, I had some ladyfinger cookies. You could also use like the Milano's or there's various other types of just kind of rounded cookie. And we made some little, I dipped them in white chocolate that I put a, just a drop of black icing in and then I cut them up and put these little RIP Rip. rest in peace so we're gonna put our headstones in I've got three of those going in and then we will start frosting. frosting these so I made just a basic white buttercream added a little bit of leaf green to it and then in your cake decorating box, you have a coupler. So we're gonna use that. And then I'm gonna use two different grass tips. Well, I'm gonna use one grass tip and that is your 233. It's got all these little holes in it on the top. And then the other one you have is what I call a fancy leaf tip and it's a 67. And I'm gonna kind of alternate between the two. So to fill a pastry bag, you never want to fill it more than halfway. So I fold it down basically to the halfway point so I know not to fill it over that. And you put your hand in between them. It's almost like a glove. I've got a little bit of this hanging down. You want your coupler to go in here first. Your coupler has two parts. It has this little round piece and this part. So this part goes in. If you're not using a coupler, then your tip goes in. I cannot tell you how many times I forgot to put a tip in before I have filled my pastry bag. And then you just end up starting over. So you push your coupler all the way down to the bottom, grab a pair of scissors, and you're gonna cut your bag right at the bottom of your coupler. The coupler should pop through just enough, like my bag is like right here but you don't want it past, you want your coupler to stick through, but you want the bag to cover the threads because you have this little plastic ring that has to go back on this. And you can put a tip on right now or not, it doesn't matter, you just make sure you get your coupler in or your tip in if you're not using a coupler. And if you just wanna use your grass tip and not do the leaf tip, that's perfectly okay. Um, I just think it looks a little better when you kind of mix the two in there. When I fill a pastry bag, I always hold my frosting bowl against my body with my left arm and my bag is in the left hand. And the easiest thing to fill pastry bags with is not this rubber spatula, but you will need that to scrape the edge of your bowl. Your smallest angled spatula or straight spatula to me works the best. So I'm just gonna take a little frosting, I'm gonna put it in the bag and then scrape it along the edge of my finger so that I get it down. And I like these because I can also start pushing frosting down with it. It'll push it down into your bag really nicely. And again, I'm not filling it more than halfway, which is pretty much where I have it folded. So that's also why I fold it right there. Then I don't overfill my bag. Now I roll the bag back up. And then I take my fingers almost like scissors on the outside push my frosting down. You want to get all the air out of it. Otherwise your bag is going and then you twist your bag. Now I can go ahead and put my tip on here. So I'm going to start with my grass tip and then I take my coupler ring and put that on top of it. Twist it on there. And then I usually, I will test it a little bit in my bowl first to make sure I've got what I want. And then all I'm going to do now, is go around my brownie and hold it off the brownie, maybe like quarter of an inch and 
Just squeeze hard and then kind of pull up. Make sure it attaches to the brownie. And just kind of randomly all over, we're gonna put grass. And it doesn't have to be perfect or symmetrical. I can leave a few gaps in here because I'm gonna fill it in with my leaves. But you're just squeezing and putting grass all over. Maeve wants to do it now. Twist your bag. Yep. Yep. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yep, perfect. So we're gonna finish frosting this. So we've got grass pretty much all over the place. There's still a few little gaps in here. We're gonna change our tip now. I'm just gonna unscrew this and we're gonna to switch to our fancy leaf tip. We have this tip that I'm just handling. And this tip is kind of a flat tip. So you're gonna have, it's gonna be important that you have like test it out in your thing a little bit. And when you're, you're basically gonna squeeze, kind of push hard and then stop squeezing and pull away. So I'm gonna squeeze hard and pull away. And this tip is bent. How is it bent? Or there's a clog in my bag, one of the two. I think there's a clog in my bag. I'm gonna, I've got a little tiny piece of something in my bag right here. Try to get it out of here because my leaves are not coming out the way I want them to. If you have a toothpick, that works best. I don't have a toothpick, but I think I got it. So there we go. So I'm kind of making a leaf. I'm going like one way with my leaf and then tilting my bag and going the other way. And I put a couple of these like at the base of my tombstone. And it's just going to kind of give you the effect of maybe like there's different type of grass. You know, sometimes your grass isn't perfect and all the same style. But it just, and it fills in. Like, I don't know if you've, uh, your hand's going to get pretty sore of doing that first grass tip. So this leaf tip makes it a little easier on your hands. You don't get quite so tired. It pushes the frosting out a little bit better. And I'm gonna have my helper kind of get them over here. And these won't squeeze, you won't have to squeeze as hard as that last one. So, and then that's it. And if you have, you know, little skeleton molds or stuff, you can put those in your gravestone and your grave areas. But otherwise, these are done and we'll just clean up once we get all the way done okay so we've got our graveyard it's all decorated up and done super scary looking here i uh, wish i would have had the molds for the bones but yeah. no big deal um cleaning up super important again we want to take care of these decorating tips because they are not cheap and you will have to replace them if they're not um if they're ruined so unscrew your cap and you've got your tip you can take if you're going to keep using your frosting you can just squeeze it right back into your bowl what? and then um, usually what i do is with my scissors i cut cut the bag from the coupler and then you can cut it off of your coupler it's just it's that's the easiest way it's really hard to push the coupler or your tip back out and these kitchen scissors that have a rounded blunt edge are not good for this so i get my bag off of here and then all you have to do for cleaning of these i usually pump water and get all that frosting out but you have to use hot water because it's super greasy. And then I just have a small bowl here with like Dawn dish soap, put them in there. But I get the big blobs of frosting out of each tip really quick. Then they go in here and you can just use your washcloth and I'll take my pinky and put my pinky in, my hot soapy water, pinky in there to clean the tip. The outside of it real good and then rinse it 
And then for drying, you want to put them either in a drying rack or normally I'll just take a couple of paper towels, fold it in half, scooch over, and then upside down to dry. You can also, your metal tips, they're going to rust, so you can also run a finger in them with a paper towel and after they've, you know, let them dry for a second or two and then put a finger in the paper towel, but still let them air dry. Don't put them back in your decorating box until you know they are completely dry. You can throw your bags away and, um, the, the, well, the disposable ones you can, um, but please make sure you clean your tips really good because you'll know when they're not clean when you go to use them again and they're all greasy.